They've got to start where it can't be too much load, it's going to pull them forward. I mean, I want to say they're going to, so they're going to, well, they're going to have to angle forward, so they've got to be upright as much as they can. So when they drop down, hands there, that's it. Soft knees, but don't let those knees go forward. So at this point, let your bum go back towards the anchor point, your shoulders forward, run your hands down your knees, that's it, keep going, keep going. Keep going as you maintain it, keep going. Now, can you feel that's loose now? Yep. Now, what I want you to do at the moment, Daniel, is now creep forward with your feet. Make sure the tension's on, then the tension's back on. There you go, that's enough. Now, can you, when you come up, I want you to stretch that band. So push your hips forward and reverse. And hold it there. And then that glutes on. Okay, neutral spine here, great. Core needs to be on here. Now go again, let the bum go back towards the band. Hands down your knees, keep going, keep going, bum back, shoulders forward, hands down, that can go below your knees more, bum back further, keep going. And what happens there? Hammies? Hammies are working, posterior chain, right? And then when you come forward, this goes up, knees close, bang. Start off, you're good, core on. Now, let your hips get dragged backwards, hinge at the knee, hands, down your knees, keep driving back. Keep going. As your shoulders come down, you keep going. Maintain that flat back there, and then stretch the band out forward. There you go. Just help that hinging mechanism. And once you've got that, obviously move to the remaining bit of band on. Keep that core on. All the way. Just lift that a little. No, go again, go stay down there. Just come up here, yeah, yeah, flex your spine a little. Yeah. Yeah. You need to roll that back a little. Bit. Yeah. Now we'll see how you're back. Yeah, it's a nice pull down, isn't it? Yeah, you can say, no, you need to be here or you need to be there. And you can help them at that point so they can feel that feedback where they need to be without you know having this huge load. They can actually and think about that, there's an isometric hold there. There is a strengthening, you know? Like if they can hold that isometric bead, that's all good for them. Especially at a low level. Good body. Be close. Yep. Bang on top. Yep. A little yeah. fine. Yeah. Yeah. See that fighting came out of the drawer. Yeah. yeah. Then up. Through. Yes. Good. Really nice, easy way of learning. You know, they do it at home. Remember, if they're doing, if they've got access to more stuff, they'll do it more often. Slowly let your hands get dragged down. Make your hips go backwards. You keep going back. 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 Oh, shoulders down more. Yeah. Now, when you come back up, see so you can sort of, now I can correct you a little bit here. I can lift you up there. You know, you can, you can do little subtle changes there to find your neutral. And then you're going to push this forward. Come up with your shoulders. Vertical with your shoulders, push hips forward. Then, so the knee closes, this closes, this closes, all, all one time. Not sort of doing one after the other. And that's hard to go, I've got to coordinate three, four, the yeah. anchor if you like. Move this all together. It's difficult. But that's why the band's so good. You can feel that drags you down, it keeps you that sort of pull down movement. And you know, that's where you'd start off. Maybe you just go to your knees. And then as they get better, because they can go lower. Because remember, at this point here, when they get down here, they're closing that hip, they're running out of range. So it's going to get harder, you have to work harder here, harder through here, to get more and more depth with that, as in lower here, 